If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. All right, so one more chance. Okay, I, Andy, I, this is it. I have put a lot of effort into this uh, this squad here. Yep. So, folks, bear with me one more time. I've got to see if I can get the Sentinels right. Uh, <laughs> but then I looked at what I'm facing here, and it's a lot of physical damage versus my three physical defense. So. Well, we do have Scarlet Witch on the team, she on is, my yeah, team. Yep. Yeah. And Toad, you've got Toad there. Mm -hmm. Gambit's all physical, though, I think, isn't he? So, I, you know, and I think this is only the second time I've played him. I didn't have a lot of luck with him last time, so I'm... Kind I felt of, like I had to kind of convince you to play Gambit. Yeah, too, and, yeah. but you know what? I I'm, I want to I wanna try it again, so here we go. And well, there's Rogue. Oh, is this going to be another War Machine attempt? <laughs> Where you've tried well, War Machine no, multiple listen, times. The last time I played Gambit, it was with the X-Men and also rogue so this time it's with the brotherhood so yeah. let's see how they do that's right that is true uh by the way my uh under your skin that is daredevil in this game so daredevil is a sentinel for our intents and purposes uh, shadowlands daredevil that is and yes i am hedging my bet by having the ninjas with him so yeah we have to roll criticals here uh, two dice and if we roll critical we get the uh the Kree power source. I failed it, obviously. Okay, there's Magneto. Big scary himself. Yeah, Magneto is... I'm not going to lie, I'm very intimidated by Magneto in this game. But we haven't played him for a little while either. We haven't played the Brotherhood period for a little bit. No, I'm... I was happy to do this. Yeah. And again, this is a, there is obviously still the X-Force, but we're going to hold off on them for a little bit. Uh, we don't want to overwhelm people uh, or have the Sentinels overstay their welcome. All right, Baron Zemo. <laughs> That's what Sentinels do, though. They overstay their welcome. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do in the comics. All right, so Baron Zemo, I got the power source there. So the other two go away. The others go away. But all those ambushes are still there. So, Or the, the objective. But they're ambushes, basically. Um, they give cover. All right. So now uh, we all know who has it. It's time for everyone to go get him. But, oh no, there are five different uh, objectives that we need to secure as well. And again, this is kind of a bane for the Sentinels, so that's why I chose the squad I did. Um, I was determined this time to have at least five people, one way or another. So there's Toad. He's out of range, I guess. Well, it doesn't matter. No, you're sitting on the objective. The, uh, that token should be gone. We should have picked that one up because I have the power core. No, it looked like I was measuring to see if I could attack you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You should be, Andy. You should be. I'm not sorry I was out of range. <laughs> but guess who is in range? Yeah, that was like just barely. Woo! Time to take down a mutant. <laughs> I love all the comments, by the way. People saying that, you know, I should just fully embrace my sentinelism and just obliterate everything. I, I try. I that I am going to do my best, but I also going to try to grab some objectives. But yes, that really is truly where my heart is. Let's just blow every mutant up. So it looks like I took one there. Yes, you took one. There's the raging Cajun himself, Mona Me. I just hurt your girlfriend too. I like how Baron Zemo and the Sentinel are both kind of pointing. <laughs> They're like, go there. No, go there. So, all right. There's my Sentinel Prime. 
Pete. Pete. Pete's just going to grab the middle. I felt pretty decent. And actually, I was very curious to see how I was going to do against somebody with Mystic Attacks. And since uh, Scarlet Witch was right there, this was either going to be awesome or totally horrible, <laughs> I figured. So we'll find out. Yeah, I obviously should have put her somewhere different, but it is what it is. All right. Uh, and I think you're, you're determining if you can attack. And yes, unfortunately... Or maybe fortunately, I don't know. I'm in range of a hex bolt. So the way we've been rolling skulls lately, this should go very well. I mean, <laughs> we see. both have been rolling a ton. I honestly can't remember, so let's see. Oh, I remember what happens here. One, two, three, four. Oh! Now see, when it's a mystic attack, each one of those wilds counts yeah. as two. Andy was like, oh, I don't, I didn't get any damage. I was like, Did How? I do that? I yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> She's like, really? <laughs> yes. Yes, this is when Nikki needs to read her enemy's cards better. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. That's a good try, Scarlet Witch. All right, now it's time for the ninjas. Come on, ninjas, go. Go ninja, go ninja. That's go. what I was thinking. <laughs> is that from one of the Ninja Turtles? That it's was, a, it's that vanilla, was vanilla Ice. ice. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I think that was for the second Ninja Turtles movie. Or the second. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it was second. The second. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. Because I never saw the third one. I think I saw it. It's just hard to remember. Yeah. But yeah. The first one was my favorite. So definitely grab that one. Um, trying to set kind of up for round two with those guys. Force Nikki to make some decisions. Oh, that's right. Never mind. I went back because I was, I needed to grab the points. Silly me. I needed points there. So instead of moving up, I moved to that and grabbed that objective. Wow. Did I just score five points? Gosh, Andy. I think that's like more points than I combined uh, in my last game. Period. I think, so. I think it is. Good job, Andy. <laughs> Yay, Good Sentinels. job. Good job getting points. <laughs> All right. Good first round for the Sentinels. Mm-hmm. But Big Daddy M is right there. And I think I'm within two, aren't I? Yes, you are. No. Make the bad man go away. <laughs> so what does that do? Uh, you can re-roll any number of attack dice. Oh, wow. And that's always fun. Ah! <laughs> he pretty much... He's alive, but just barely still. <laughs> oh, fatal attraction. Boom. Good storyline, by the way. Very good storyline. We'll have to cover that one day. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be enough. You dazed him in one round with Magneto, and you still have an action left. All right, so I use Shrapnel Blast for Daredevil and... Is it... The Hand Ninjas. And, uh... Oh, yeah, it was the Hand Ninjas. So, since it was within three of the actual Shrapnel... Or the piece that you exploded... That gave you a lot of sight, because otherwise you would not have been able to yeah, see it. Yeah, and you know what? I don't think I've ever used Shrapnel Blast before, and I, I just wanted to try it, and a total fail on the ninjas. That was hilarious. That's hilarious, but you heard Daredevil, and you stunned him. <laughs> so. uh, All right, so here is my favorite thing to do with the Sentinels. Restraining cable. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. You get a restraining cable, and you get a restraining cable. <laughs> and then I'm going to mark one plasma blast him. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ouch. Sorry, Gambit. I'm, I don't like you right now. <laughs> Stop. But this is what people want to see. They want to see like, Sentinels. Really? Really? They you know, see I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see this. <laughs> All right, so plasma blast on Rogue. I'm sure I disappointed many people with how poorly they performed on the Guardians. So, um, so yeah, not not too bad on Rogue. 
Uh, she does have her Cree. Yeah, it takes it down to uh, by one. Cree resistance or whatever yeah. it's called. Cree technology. Yeah, Rogue's she's pretty sturdy. She is. So All what right. you gonna do? Uh, what you gonna do there, Scarlet Witch? Moving Scarlet Witch up. Um, did I forget that Gambit or the Baron. Baron Zemo existed? Yes, I did forget that Baron Zemo existed, and he's holding an objective, but. He, well, that's a D. He's holding the, the, uh, the core. Yeah. The core. He's holding the core. And there I am like, look, let's attack this big blue thing. So, oh well. I, the bloodlust has gotten into you, I think. It really did because I, I, came, I became laser focused. And they're big and um, so I'm going to throw that building at you. See how you like it. I don't like that. <laughs> and from behind, too. Oh, ow. Still ow? That's a good hit. And then I was like, so you're going to attack him again? No, you're going after Daredevil. That was rude. But he's the beast. He's got the beast inside of him. So. Yeah. And I don't know why I decided to attack Daredevil. I don't know what past Nikki because, was thinking. Well, I think because you saw what I did to defend against that first attack. Oh, that's right. And I realized mystic attacks just don't work against the Sentinels. So I attacked Daredevil. And then... <laughs> and then I forgot again about Baron Zemo. <laughs> so he's going to sword strike Rogue. Aha! I'm God. Uh, not, not too, come on, Baron. You can, you're better than that. Rogue is not afraid of you. She shouldn't be. Not with that kind of attack. I think he's merely toying with you. Mm -hmm. Or is she toying with him? Could be. Aha! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something he would say. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> but you were really, really well, too. So um, I think I only ended up doing like two points of damage to you. Yeah. 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 She survived. That was such a good hit, too. And. Uh, yeah, again, then, yeah. I forget that Baron's, even after he just attacked me, guys. I was like, I was cowering in the corner waiting for that attack, and you fly yeah. away. Yeah, Andy <laughs> told me later, he's like, I was wondering why you didn't attack him, and I don't know. My brain was not working. I was I was laser focused on the Sentinels. And I was not about to tell you. Hey, yeah, Robert, why don't you attack him? No, you're not going to tell me that. Please attack my expendable Sentinel. <laughs> Well, he's not so expensive. And then I remember he existed. I was like, crap! <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, throw something at him. I took it, well... Okay, yep, yeah, I took one damage from that. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. So now you're just trying to drain my Now I'm power. just, like, yeah. trying to do stuff to you. Absorbing strike onto the Sentinel? Yeah. You got nothing, no oh, life force to absorb. Yeah, that was, uh... And he took a damage from bleeding. Hmm. All right, so. Ninja weapons. On Toad. They had nothing else to do. But I had a cunning plan. Why don't I move the ninjas over next to her? Because you hit me so hard with, uh... Well, not you, you hit me pretty decently, but, uh, I... The Demon's Devastation attack really doesn't take too much power, weirdly enough. And if my hand ninjas are within two of me, or two of the opponent, one of the two, um, I get to roll two more dice. And that's why I move them over. So, I got a really good Demon's Devastation roll here. Well, I got a lot of dice. I think we all know that when you roll lots of dice in this game, it never works out. Well, it's not bad. That, that wasn't bad. One, two, three, four, five... Six. Six. And yeah. I blocked one. Two. Two. Your okay. skulls. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Scarlet Witch. Not bad, though. Four. Four damage. No, I'll take it. Not bad. I'll buy that for a dollar. So. <laughs> All right. Nice. Not bad, Daredevil. You're already working out pretty well. And because of that, I get to move back. I think it's short, so... Yeah, that's pretty good, Andy. Oh, but then she's like, I curse you! I'm like, no! Yeah. I really do hate curse. That yeah, judgment. Yeah, curse sucks. Yeah. And you're cursed. Yeah. Not only curse, you judged him when you cursed him. Yes. No one likes to I be do, judged. I do both. That's my <laughs> thing. Curse you and judge you. So, yeah, tongue lash, you took out my ninjas. Finally. 
like Magneto couldn't do it. <laughs> right. Toad, come on, Toad, see if you can do it. And Just he's like, up. he's like, all right. I got my big boy pants on. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> so, Mach Two Plasma Blast onto the Scarlet Witch there. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good roll for you, though, too. So you, you forced me to do it again. I am not using maximum number of dice here. And I, I was hoping and praying that was not going to be my downfall. Luckily, it was not. So yeah, I ended up dazing days. Yeah. And then, my favorite, restraining cable. No point for you. So, not bad for you. <laughs> that, that would have been different, though. Oh, and you cursed Prime, too. Yeah. I really do hate Judgment. Oh, man, I hate Judgment. Round three, Nikki. Round three. All right, so... I see a lot of Judgments. That sucks. Um, that means no matter how hard I get hit, I will be getting power, or I have to take an action to remove it, which is... Actually, since you're within three of Scarlet Witch, you couldn't do that. Oh, I, that's right. So, oh, that's even worse. Mm -hmm. So you're playing Asteroid M right now. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that I need to put myself in a better position against, like... I'm just getting nowhere with him, I feel like, with her mystic attacks, so. And there's poor old Zemo. <laughs> Leave Zemo alone! <laughs> I know that's why you moved over there. All right, what are you going to do to Zemo? Well, Andy, first I'm going to hex bolt him. See how that goes for me. Maybe then have a light salad? <laughs> See how I, feel. how I feel. Perhaps a light salad. Uh, that that dazed him. You got him. Cool. So um, what's dessert now? So oh, well, yeah, dessert is I'm going to pick up his Cree power. <laughs> yeah. We were really... Yeah, This is where the miniatures kind of get interesting. It's like, I need to squeeze my hand into this small area without moving anything. <laughs> But you were, you were with him. I right? was afraid that I wouldn't be, but I was. So. I was hoping you weren't. I know. All right. Well, good job. Oh, and then you're playing Whims of Chaos. So I'm taking away um, Rogue's Bleed, and then I'm going to put incinter Incinerate on, is that? Sentinel. Steve or Jimbo? That is Steve. Okay. So put an Incinerate on Steve. Yeah. And, uh. I was thinking that you, you moved the uh, the condition, not created a brand new one out well, of Well, you scratch. can remove a condition or a damage, and then you put, you have a, anyway, I'm throwing something at our. I no, you hexed him. What I thought you, you couldn't do was, uh, I didn't realize you could turn a bleed into an incinerate. I thought you had to move the bleed, so, but I was wrong. No, you totally could incinerate him, which you did. And you dazed him. I threw a car at him first, though. You didn't see that part. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did. All right. <laughs> All right. So, Daredevil. Um, time to take out Rogue. No. With Why would you do that? Coordinated strike. <sighs> yeah. No. I was all excited here, and then I we, we realized she had that Korean vulnerability. Yeah, you almost took her out. She has one stamina left. So now it's up to the ninjas. Ninjas, are you up to this task? Take out the rogue. With ninja weapons. And yes, you did it. I did it. Well, yes, I did it. Really good job, ninjas. So how would you like another car? In the face. <laughs> in the face. Yeah, I, I took a lot of cars in the face this game. <laughs> in the back, in the face, in the shins. Um, so I'm going to try to get that point there. And... This does not bode well for the Sentinel, because I'm within two of you. Yep. So reverse polarity uh... against Jimbo. Jimbo. You know how it's Jimbo? Because his arms are akimbo. That's how I know it. He's got two arms out. 
It says three, and you didn't block any. No, but you only did three, which he's alive. Yeah, he's he's Barely. still, he's he's all, still he's, kicking. He has one stamina left. It looks like left. he's like going to go over and do something to Toad. Poor little defenseless Toad. Yeah, originally I was going to attack Magneto, and then I was like, no, take out Toad. That was pretty smart, Andy. I have my moments. <laughs> I was bad. I, I was. Uh, I, I was in battle rage at this point. Yeah, you were in bloodlust, <laughs> if you will. So that's not enough, unfortunately. But he is incinerated, and then I use restraint cable. I love that ability. Yeah, Yay! got Magneto off of his point. Yes, I could have attacked you twice. Yeah, yeah, you could have. All right, 52 card pickup. Okay, Wilds count is two. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Oh. oh my gosh, Wilds count is two, Andy. That's six damage. Yes. I only blocked one of them. That was amazing, and now I love Gambit. I was so happy you moved back. <laughs> I was like, yes, now I love you, Gambit. That deserves a restraint cable. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Scarlet Witch. Ah. <sighs> Cables. Suppression protocol mark two. All right, not bad. Well, not great. Never mind. That sucked. <laughs> be better, Sentinel Prime. Be better. Oh, and I didn't get any power for that, which really made that worse. Yeah, because you were gonna do a different attack. I was gonna do another one of those. Uh, and uh, uh, you didn't get any power. For I didn't that have enough power for it. Yeah. You're cursed. Sorry about that. I'm judged. But you're, yes, you're judged and cursed. And I couldn't get rid of it anyways. That's right, because Scarlet Witch is right there. That, that's a good attack. But your energy defense is pretty... Oh, you're on, you're incinerated, so never mind. Uh, two. Three. One. No, I only did one. Ugh. All right. I was shocked you did this, but I was... You know, I was like, you realize he has one stamina, and I've got that one card. What card are you asking, ladies and gentlemen? This card. <laughs> that I've been wanting to play this. So this makes the Sentinel, Sentinel go boom. explode, right? Right. And they all took three damage, so I just dazed Toad. Oh. That was phenomenal. I I have no idea what's going on with these dice at this point. It's kind of crazy. It's yeah. So. We made a little bit of a mistake here. A little boo-boo. Oh, yeah. I accidentally started. And the only thing I can think of is when your sentinel exploded and you rolled dice, I just, we both just thought you went last. And, and then you played the card. And it's like, yeah, yeah. obviously she goes yeah. first. So. so we, I shouldn't have gone first here, but I did. It, so yeah. it oh. is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, cruel twist. On to sentinel prime. And did I get him? Uh, yeah, you got him. You got him. He went boom. Well, he went, uh, he... <laughs> So he's dazed. He's dazed, yeah. Um, okay. My hand ninjas, they've done very well for me so far. I need them within two of Daredevil for really cool stuff to happen. Um, so, hey, they've been rolling really well this game, too. So why not? Let's, let's do some hand ninja weapons against Rogue. It's gonna be worse, I guess. Fifty fifty. Don't don't roll another don't Oh Alright. <laughs> well here's the reason why I moved him. Demon's devastation. And uh, uh not bad. Okay, thank you. That works. But here's really why I moved them up close. I mean if Demon's Devastation was good, this card. Now if you had cover, this card would suck. But you don't, so I grow 10 dice. Oh, wow. Wow, indeed. You're darn right, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are shredded by shuriken. Nice job, Head Ninjas and Daredevil. Nice job. Oh, God. So that was against Rogue? That was against Rogue. You have really lived up to the Rage and Cage. Good gracious, Nikki. Okay, did I mention I love Gambit now? <laughs> he is definitely a Rage and Cajun. Oh my 
gosh. What is going on? I mean, we both... Gambit's well. like, yeah. Jeez! <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm still... Well, you did three. That sucked, but good gracious. Yeah, Raging Cajun is just... Cards are everywhere. All right, so you get a restraining cable. Restraint yeah, cable. You need to pull me off my point again, Andy. That's what I do. I roll. I th roll you off your uh, your your point. All right, and I'm in. I am barely within range of uh, suppression protocol. So why don't we try that? Nice. Hmm. Nice. Good job. So okay, you're she's out. gone. She's, she's gone. KO'd. And I'm just going to move up a little bit, just in case. Oh, oh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's why I feel like every time I see him, the little cape flying in the wind. The only damage I did was because you kind of inflicted it on yourself. Yeah, Magneto's pretty awesome. He is. He is a BA. I enjoy, and I enjoyed that he was in uh, Days of Future Past. Yeah, as a good guy, too. As a good thing. guy. It was kind of a, um, hey, Magneto might be helpful in the future. That's really it. It's a, a, things, uh, a, a vision think, of things to come. And they yeah. deepened his storyline after that. Yeah. Okay, so reverse polarity onto Daredevil, which is not as good because you don't get to reroll your dice. And my blanks count... Not that I wrote any blanks, so you're gonna throw something at me, which is just rude. <laughs> well, two, so I took one damage there. I think I'm down to like one point right there. Zemo! All right, Zemo. So he charged. He charged, yeah. Steel rain charge. On God, you. Well, he's <laughs> he's not French. He's more German, but I might not. Well, you didn't this. sound French either, and, Andy. Uh, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna make up an accent now. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't good. Yeah, I have not been doing too well with my rerolls this game. Yeah, you're usually pretty good at those. Okay, that's a good roll. That's a darn good roll. Come on, Zemo. Oh look. And it. <laughs> I still, uh, let's see. One, that's two, enough, though. Yeah, that's enough. Finally. Yeah. So the Cajun's gone. We basically kind of evaluated what a turn five would look like now. And it was almost impossible for Nikki to win. In fact, it pretty much is. Yeah. So we decided to call the game. Really great game. That was a lot of fun. It was fun. Great game, Nikki. Good game. Okay, that is the last of the trilogy of videos of Sentinels versus Nikki. Uh, <laughs> I, I finally got my W in there, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it felt pretty good. Um, though it does seem like you're either going to do really, really well with them, or you're just going to get destroyed. So I don't know. I think it has a lot to do with the crisis situation and... Um just a lot of things but the brotherhood definitely could have won i probably would not choose scarlet witch next time <laughs> um yeah the juggernaut might have been better for this particular game mm -hmm. uh, i don't know when we were discussing whether you were going to play the sentinels and i was going to do brotherhood I, that's who i was actually thinking about but i think ultimately end, i still would, would have picked uh, scarlet witch well, she can at least throw and... Oh, uh, she did too. Mm -hmm. I really yeah, might. I did a lot of throwing this game. It was a fun game. Between Magneto, Rogue, and Scarlet Witch, like half the table got thrown in my sentinels. Also, I just was a little unfocused a few times and made some mistakes, so... Yeah, I mean, that's... Forgetting Zemo had the, the power yeah, core. Yeah, that was dumb. So. And then when you're actually, who has it, Zemo? Okay, I'm going to attack the sentinel. It's like, <laughs> okay... <laughs> yeah. So, but hey, I, I it, it happens. Late. I don't know. I am not one to talk because I've done that plenty of times. Um, <laughs> but overall, yeah, that was a fun game. Um, 
And I, I felt like I've got a, a good chance to kind of run Sentinels through their paces, through various kinds of missions, well, the scenarios, and then various kinds of teams. Um, they are definitely not an all-comer type list, but they, they're fun. I felt like Cassandra did really well uh, on that team. Yeah. So that was... Yeah. yeah. And that's it. And again, for more information about Cassandra and the Sentinels, you can check out our Days of Future Past video. Because believe it or not, we do bring her up as to why she's part of the Sentinels uh, in that video. So, because that was a comment we had, and I'm sure some other people were thinking about that too. Um, I do kind of dig Cassandra with the uh, the Sentinels. Um, I don't really like her as a character. I don't think she really fits my play style anywhere else. But with the Sentinels, she's actually really good. Uh, for if only for that one team tactic card, mm -hmm. but it's it's kind of like Killmonger. Is he good because he's good, or is he good because uh, usurp the throne exists? Yeah, I don't know. I, I choose. To, I try not to bring usurp the throne with that with uh, without him. So, um, but anyways, good game. That was fun. Um, I think she's pretty good. So, but anything that stood out to you in that game. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Not really, just just a good old <laughs> slobber knocker. So I don't know. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as the previous game. No, I, I got completely annihilated in that game. So, um, so we are currently working on our Phoenix Saga video. That's a war video. Um, <laughs> be super awesome if we actually had the Phoenix herself in this game. I know. I Hopefully someday. Uh, Fingers crossed. Yeah. It, That'll be so awesome. AMG, he needs well, to. Well, I know. And we will have to play a game with Gene, Wolverine, Cyclops. Um, i trying to think who else. Probably by then, Angel. Well, he was <laughs> Hopefully Nightcrawler will be out by then, too. Oh, Nightcrawler. So, yeah. He's, yeah. He's a big part of it. Um, but what's fun is it, when we now that we're doing the research on uh, the Phoenix Saga, uh, we're finding a whole bunch of, like... X-Men isms in the comics like oh my starving garter you know things. oh yeah Beast Beast is in it um, um, they talk about Cyclops with his varying degree of optic blast which mm -hmm. would be optic devastation mm -hmm. hit uh, and run hit and run he does a hit yeah, and run there's a hit so. and run yep and then there's the summer or the spring storm which no no it's the summer shower the summer shower the I'm summer sorry shower. which we can't really show but it's it's kind of funny that they decided was that in the or, yeah, I thought it was. I think you're right. It is. But yes, it is. Because I was like, what is this? Not the, um, I don't think it's in the Dark Phoenix. It's in the... It's in the, yeah, the first part yeah. of it when she turns into Phoenix. I did not enjoy the Phoenix storyline. I enjoyed it, but not as much as Dark Phoenix. Like, Dark Phoenix storyline, wow. And, it's so good. And you're going to be discussing that a uh, lot more detail. Yeah, we've got to get back with it. We've we've been working on that, and I think next weekend we'll have it. Yeah, we'll have that, it that's the plan for next weekend because we're we, we're going on a little bit of a, a trip for uh, one of the kiddos. So we'll have that video, but we should then have a, a battle report after that, which I believe will be Hydra again. This will be the Red Skull uh, leader of Hydra, the new one with the Hydra troopers. I'm uh, not sure who he's fighting against. Uh, we haven't really discussed that yet, but you will be fighting against somebody. So if you've got suggestions or recommendations, we'd love to hear them. Um, until then, yeah, again, thank you so much for all the support we've gotten recently on these videos. A lot of great comments, a lot of great feedback. And, uh, oh, yeah, we had a comment um, on the lore video about Days of Future Past from someone who remembers reading it in 1980 for the first time and he was saying that he couldn't wait until the next issue came out and he read it like 20 times i loved that so much because whenever i read something old like that i always think about the original you know the people who read it when it came out what were they thinking because it really is it's so we've talked about this a number of times the the comics of the 80s the the storylines all that are the foundation of what we're getting to now, obviously, but they're really different in a lot of ways, uh, really interesting ways. Uh, and that's one of the things we do try to cover in the videos, but you know, it's, 
it's well, really Chris the, Claremont who wrote so many of these totally ahead of his time like wow yes just amazing very much yeah so that's again we love those comments we love the feedback mm -hmm. um until then do we have anything else we want to discuss Nope, we're good. All right. Well, <laughs> until next time, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Right, bye.